Warning. Before starting the installation, make sure that there is no voltage on the connection cables. Activities related to installation, connection and adjustment should be performed by a qualified electrician who has read the operating instructions and the functions of the device. ROP02 is the receiver of the wireless control system, Extra Free. It is designed for remote switching on and off of light sources and other devices powered by 230 volts AC. The receiver unique feature are two outputs which allows to independent control of two circuits. Phase signal is available on the receiver out 1 and out 2 output terminals, therefore outputs are voltage type powered with 230 volts AC. The maximum load capacity of each output should not exceed 5 amperes. ROP02 requires continuous power supply in the range from 190 to 250 volts AC, for its correct operation. The receiver operates with all extra free transmitters. While using the central unit EFC01, the control could be carried by the mobile devices, equipped with Android or iOS. Transmitters are stored in the receiver's memory even after power loss. After the first connection of the supply voltage, the receiver outputs are switched off. ROP02 additionally has two inputs IN1 and IN2, which enable wired control by usual wall buttons. These inputs are controlled by quick applying of phase signal. The control is carried out by cyclic change the output's state. The range of the ROP02 receiver depends on the power of paired transmitter, usually is limited to 230 meters, in open area. ROP02 receiver could be installed in installation boxes with diameter of 60 mm. It is best to use so-called deep and cans. Small dimensions of the device allows direct installation in lighting fittings. Receivers can be installed in dry wall systems made of plasterboard. The receiver housing has IP20 protection degree, therefore additional boxes with appropriate IP degree should be used when installing outdoors. The wires with a maximum cross section of 2.5 mm square could be connected to the terminals. Power cables L and N should be connected to terminals L and N of the receiver. The device controlled by first channel is connected to out one terminals and the one controlled by second channel connected to terminal out 2. Neutral wire is connected to the common terminal N. For additional wired control by double wall button, connect the buttons to the inputs, IN1 and IN2, respectively. Through those buttons, the phase signal is transferred to the input. After connecting the cables and placing the receiver inside the installation box, power the device and begin the programming procedure. The device programming is an operation of pairing single or several transmitters into the extra free receiver. It can be done in four different methods, which determines the receiver operation mode. In by stable mode, one button of transmitter only is used for control. By pressing the button, the status of the selected output changes periodically. As a result device is connected to the ROP02 switch on and off. This mode enables to independent control of more than one receiver using one transmitter only. For example, the remote control, P2568, controls of up to 8 outputs.
On-off mode, is the most common one. Two buttons of transmitter are used for control. Single button when pressed, switches on the device and the other one switches it off. This mode is useful while controlling devices placed out of sight, and when single transmitter, has to control more than one ROP02 receiver. In monostable mode, same as in bistable mode, just one transmitter button is used for control. The selected receiver's output operates when the button is pressed and hold it only. In time mode, same as in bistable and monostable modes, just one transmitter button is used for control. The device connected to the selected ROP02 output, switches off automatically after elapsing the set time, or could be switched off earlier manually, by repressing the transmitter button. This is the non-retriggerable system. The time is set in the receiver for each channel in the range, between 1 second, and 18 hours. The time is not cleared after the power failure, as well as will not be cleared after factory reset. A single ROP02 receiver can operate with up to 32 transmitters of the extra free system. By this one device could be controlled from several places, or by several people. Transmitters paired with ROP02, can operate in the same mode, for example, switch on, switch off, or any other like, by stable, monostable or timed mode. In this case, the P2572 remote control operates in a bistable mode. The RNK04 transmitter, operates in on-off mode, the P2574 remote control operates in monostable mode, and the P2568 remote control operates in time mode. In addition to radio transmitters, the control could be carried out by wired switches as well. In such case, the control is carried out by cyclical change state of outputs, just like in normal bistable mode. Once the central unit EFC01 is attached to the system, then, ROP02, could be controlled by mobile device, equipped with Android or iOS and the Extra Life application. ROP02 receiver range is limited to 230 meters, in open area, it could be increased by RTN01 retransmitters when needed. In order to program first channel in the bistable mode, press the PROG button in order to begin the programming procedure. Once the status LED lights up, press the selected transmitter button. When the status LED blinks, release this button. In order to program the second channel in same mode, press PROG to begin the programming procedure. When the status LED lights up, wait about 5 seconds for the LED to blink. Then press and hold the button to be paired. And once the LED blinks, release this button. In order to program first channel in the on-off mode, press the PROG button to begin the programming procedure. Once the status LED lights up, press the first button which will switch on the first channel, when the status LED blinks, press the button which will switch off the channel first. 
to program the same mode to the second channel. Press the PROG button in order to begin the programming procedure. When the status LED lights up, wait about 5 seconds for the LED to blink. Then press the button to switch on the second channel. And when the LED blinks, press the button to switch off the second channel. In order to program first channel in the monostable mode, press and hold the button first to control this channel. In this case, it will be the first button of remote controller. Holding the transmitter button pressed, begin the programming procedure by pressing the PROG button on the receiver. When the status LED lights up, release the button. And when the status LED blinks, press the transmitter button again. In order to program next button to the second channel, press that button and, while holding it down, press the PROG button on the receiver. When the status LED lights up, wait about 5 seconds until it starts to blink. Then release the selected button. And when the status LED blinks press it again. Programming procedure for the time mode consists of two steps. Firstly, the selected button should be paired to the given channel in the time mode. Then the time for that channel should be set in the receiver. In order to program the button in time mode, begin the programming procedure by pressing the PROG button. When the status LED lights up, press the button to be paired into the receiver. When the status LED blinks, press the same transmitter button again. Next button could be paired in the time mode to the second channel, by doing the same as in previous modes. In order to set the time for the first channel, press the PROG button and once the status LED lights up, wait about 5 seconds until the LED blinks for the first time, and the next 5 seconds for the second blink. Then press again the PROG button. Blinking the LED at intervals of 1 second, indicates time countdown. When time designed to set elapses, press again the PROG button. Then, the time for the first channel is stored in the receiver memory. In order to set the time for the second channel, press the PROG button and once the status LED lights up, Wait about 5 seconds until the LED blinks for the first time. The next 5 seconds for the second blink. And next 5 seconds for the third blink. Then press again the PROG button. Blinking the LED at intervals of 1 second, indicates time countdown. When time designed to set elapses, press again the PROG button. Then, the time is stored in the receiver memory. In order to clear all remotes from the receiver's memory, press the PROG button for about 5 seconds, until the blink of the status LED. As the result of this operation, the receiver's memory of both channels is clear now. The programmed time is not cleared. The ROP02 receiver does not allow to selective delete of transmitters from given channel.